right. Johnny, uh, let's go. I told you we have to leave by nine, or we're I'm, gonna I'm be late. I'm finishing a deal. Can you, can you give me a second, well, please? Well, it's babe? a long drive. We need to go. We're not going anywhere if I don't finish this deal. Hey. You know I love you, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, why would you do it? Come on. Let's blow this town. Oh, so now you're in a rush? So rude. I just told you I love you. Come on. Anybody who drives a black Tahoe? No, why? What are you doing? SUV be following us, Vicky. How would I know? You're hiding something from me. Is there something I need to know? Oh, of course you know, ever not. Ever since I met you, I feel like there's been somebody following me. Yeah. Well, maybe it's the business that you're in. Uh, no. I've been in this business a long time, and I've never felt heat like this. Can you please just slow down? Why are they following us? I don't us? know, okay? I haven't talked to anyone. This is exactly why I asked you to stop dealing. No. I begged you, Johnny, and this is why. There's something else going on here. You know what? I'll just drive all the way to L.A. tonight. Let's see who runs out of gas first. We cannot go to L.A. tonight. We have to be in Reno by morning. Yeah, well, I'm going to L.A. Well, I'm not. Oh, you're not? No. Okay, fine. Then you and I are done. Why do you have to be like that? Because I cannot go back to jail again, okay? Do you understand that? What's going on? Huh? Who are these people? What do they want? Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Johnny, you can't leave me here. Why? Why? Because I'm pregnant. <sighs> okay, did you just hear anything that I said to you? We're gonna have a baby. I don't believe you. What do you mean you don't believe me? Just get out of the car, please. Now, please! I thought you loved me. I do, but not enough to go back to prison. Out, now.
Where's Victoria? Let her sleep. She's been through enough. Oh, sweetheart. We were just about to come get you. Um, come, sit. Have breakfast with the family. No, thank you. Just gonna shower and get out of here. Victoria. Come on, have breakfast with us. Or what? You'll have your henchmen drag me to the table? What are you staring at? I'm not an alien. Could have fooled me. Christian. So, how are things? I'm pregnant. You what? I'm with child. I know what pregnant means. You're 17 years old. You're a child. Yeah, well, I can vote in six months. Of course, I won't be voting for you. Now, why don't you two leave the table? You're excused. But, Dad... Go. Who's the father? There is no father. The baby was immaculately conceived. Pretty cool, huh? Don't be a smartass with me. Who's the father? What's the difference? The father's not going to be in the baby's life, so... The kid you were out with last doesn't night? doesn't matter who the father is. Don't tell me it doesn't matter, Barbara. It no, matters. it doesn't matter who I the father is. I want to know who the father is. What matters is. is that Vicky is home with us, and she's... Shut up! I'm talking to her! I want to know who the father is! It's fine. Mom, see, don't you see what's going on here? Daddy, dearest, is more concerned about his son-in-law being a criminal than he is concerned about his own daughter. That's not true, sweetie. No, it is. It's fine. What, Dad? Am I going to put a dent in your run for D.C.? You are a spoiled, spoiled, impossible brat. You have no idea the sacrifice that has been made for you and for this family so that you can walk around with a ring in your nose and tattoos on your neck. Oh, no, Dad, I do know. Actually, that's the thing. So much so that I don't even know my own father. Get out! Get out of this house! Sir, your candidacy for the U.S. Senate cannot withstand any more assaults from the media. You don't think I know that? Let's not discuss this in public. Close the door, please. <clears throat> well, my daughter has suddenly become a problem. She's pregnant. And the father's rap sheet is a mile long. The media will be all over you. The father of your grandchild is a criminal. <sighs> oh, you can kiss your Senate campaign goodbye. I won't let that happen. What do you propose? You can't force your daughter to abort her baby. I know that. I wouldn't do that. So you guys are sure about this? Oh, 100%. If we weren't, we would have stopped the process a long time ago. We have filled out every piece of paper imaginable. Oh, like a lot of bureaucracy and red tape to me. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, you guys are literally acquiring another human being. I'm glad they make you fill all of that out. Yeah. I, well, the process is so involved because we're waiting for an independent closed adoption. That's where the mother is willing to release the child 100%, no strings attached. Oh, that's all nice, but did you put a limit to the age? Well, we're hoping for a newborn. Huh? Get a baby well, six yeah. months old and you'll actually be able to sleep. Oh, no. We figure whatever age baby we get is going to be a blessing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when do you find out? The call could come any time. Yeah, we're on a waiting list. Yeah. Yes, it is. Honestly, I'm surprised to see you here. I know. I I just wanted to confirm 100% that I can't get pregnant. 
There is no such thing as 100%, Sarah. You're certain I have PCOS? Yes. I'm positive. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is the most common cause of infertility in women. It's been researched backwards and forwards. Sarah, you're doing the right thing. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Thank you. It's been four months already. Yeah, but you know, I mean, we gotta give it time. I mean, first they have to plant the baby seeds and then water them, and then uh, the baby grows slowly out of the ground, and the stork has to pick the baby up. Very funny, Farmer John. Yeah. Listen, it'll happen. It takes time, and you know, plus it's a long list. You know, there are six billion people on this planet procreating. You would think that there would be homeless babies in need of love everywhere. Yeah, I mean, one's bound to drop at any minute, huh? Oh, hey, what was that? I think I heard a baby hit the roof. <laughs> hey, listen, come here. We are going to have this little girl for the rest of our lives, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we just have to be patient. I promise you that phone's going to ring any day now. Okay? See? See? Tell me the score of the game. I'm recording it. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's Jerry. Um, we have a pool on the I game at the office. Yeah. All right, all right. Shut up. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it on. Bye. Oh, honey, it smells great. Thanks. Okay, um, right, in the paperwork. Okay, uh, do, do we need to bring anything else? No, 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 it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll see you then. Okay, what's, what's going on, honey? Oh, my God. The baby's here. She's here. Julia's here now? The baby's here. How old is she? One week. Your crop is ready to be picked, Farmer John. Look, honey, the, the babies. We gotta go, come on, come on. We gotta go, come on. Yes, that's what I said. Okay, get dressed. Be ready to leave in an hour. An hour. Okay. All right, uh, where are my car keys? Uh, uh. Well, look, honey, it, it says here that fussy infants can be soothed by imitating the sounds of the womb. Good, you'll be in charge of that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, it, 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 it also says that newborns have the desire to suckle and that pacifiers can easily relieve them of this need. Now, did, 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 we, did we bring a pacifier? Yes, honey, relax. You're forgetting I was a nanny in high school and I worked at that orphanage in Thailand. I'm prepared. No, no. I know, I know. I, it's just the closest I've ever come to taking care of a living, breathing organism was my pet lizard when I was a kid. And I'm sure you did a very good job. No, no, I didn't. He kept dying every few months, but my parents didn't want to tell me, so they just replaced him. And, and I thought I had the same lizard for five years, but in actuality, I'd killed about 15 of them. Sweetie, relax. We're in this together. We're a team. I love you. We're the Martins. We're here, here to... I'll uh, pick up our daughter. Of course, Mr. and Mrs. Martin. We've been expecting you. I'm going to call Melissa, and she'll be right out. Right. Oh, Richard, we need to straighten you up. 
you're a mess. All right, I need to look good for the baby? No, the agency, they don't just give babies to anybody. Honey, honey, we've already been approved. We're going to leave here with our little girl. Well, this is a lot easier than an epidural and heavy breathing, huh? Yeah. And no stretch marks. Richard. Be exhausted. You've been driving all day. Is that more paperwork? Just a little bit. I tell you what, let's do this later. Why don't we go meet your little girl? She's here. She's here. She's beautiful. <laughs> In fact, she's perfect. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. say this, but she looks like you. You think? Yeah. <laughs> she does, honey. Uh, she, she's got your eyes and, and, and your little fat cheeks. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Looking in your eyes. Have you selected a name? Julia. Julia. Okay, well, I'm glad you guys are in agreement. You're the parents of a beautiful baby girl. Thank you. The air that I breathe, you are the sun. And this is surreal. You think? Yeah. Well, we drive five hours and suddenly we're a family of three. It's incredible. You all right? Yeah, I... I just keep thinking of her mother. Well, honey, you're her mother now. I know, but... What was so terribly wrong in her mother's life that she would give up something so perfect?
guys, that was great. Seriously, really good for your first day. Um, now we're going to break into groups. We're gonna improv a little bit. And if you guys feel happy, jump up and down. If you guys wanna dance, you dance, all right? You guys can break, thank you. Victoria. Hi, I'm Jennifer Myers from the Omegas. Remember, we met the other day in psych class. Oh. So, I was wondering if you would consider pledging our sorority. In fact, I'd like to personally sponsor you. Um, can I think about it? Oh, I don't mean to offend you. I honestly just don't know anything about sororities. That's totally fine. Take your time. Thanks. No problem. I'll, I'll see you around. Let me know when you're ready. Bye. You actually fell for that? Excuse me? The, yeah, uh, the whole superficial sorority stuff. You, you fell for that. Oh, you think it's superficial? <laughs> yes, I know it is. Wow, maybe that's just because a fraternity hasn't asked you to join them. Oh, really? And what makes you so sure they haven't? Oh, they haven't. Why, because I'm not a jock or something like that? Um, no, because you're a dork. Oh. But I like dorks. Really? Yeah. And why is that? Because dorks are different. They're free thinkers. They don't follow others. They make their own path. Well, I guess I'm a dork then. <laughs> so what's your major? Child development. Really? Very cool. Is that your group? It is now. Okay. such a good girl. Oh, I was a very rebellious teenager. Really? Mm hmm You're surprised, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wow. I came a long ways in a short amount of time. I would purposely hang out with the wrong crowd just to upset my parents. Okay. Yeah. What do your parents do, by the way? Uh, are you sure you want to know? That sounds like a loaded question. <laughs> well, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I, I want to know. Lay it on me. Okay. Well, my father is a U.S. Senator from California. Rogers or Worthington? Worthington. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I despise that man. <gasps> so do I. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. His politics are atrocious. The way he handled the immigration bill was unacceptable. And, and the budget, since he went into office, is just awful. I couldn't agree more. How do you know all this stuff? I'm a poli-sci major. Right. I kind of have to know this stuff. Wow. You. I totally get you now. You do? Yes. I mean, if he was my father, I'd rebel too. Are you kidding me? You should try living with him. Oh, it must have been terrible. <laughs> Look, um, I really want to tell you something. But you can't have any preconceived notions about me. And you have to promise you won't make any assumptions. And you have to promise you won't tell anyone. Yeah, sure, I, I promise. Before I came here, I got pregnant. Your dad must have gone ballistic. He went nuclear. So what happened? 
Well, they hold me up for nine months until the baby was born. He didn't make you abort it? No. My dad knew better than to force his 18-year-old daughter to abort a baby. Kinda would put him in some pretty messy legal issues. So, where's the baby now? Hey, no, 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 it's, it's fine. You don't have to tell me this stuff. No, I want to. Um, she was taken from me. What? What do you mean she was taken from you? My parents convinced me that adoption was best for everyone. Why? How was that the best thing for you? I don't know. I guess they thought I was too young. No, no. I mean, if, if you're old enough to vote at 18, you should be old enough for motherhood. That's exactly what I said. Uh, what about the paperwork? I mean, did you sign the adoption papers? Um, I don't remember. I was so sedated from the epidural. Uh, I don't remember signing anything. Taking her. Oh, oh honey, they, 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 they just have to take her and clean her and weigh her and make sure she's healthy. It's normal. You need to rest. You need to rest. It's okay. Did you ever see her again? No, that was it. She was gone. I'm, I'm confused, though. What? The paperwork. I, I mean, did you sign the paperwork? I don't. I don't remember. I was so drugged that week. I. I don't. Wait, wait, wait! You were there for a week. Yeah. M most new mothers are in and out of the hospital within twenty-four hours. Why were you in the hospital for a week? They said I had a really difficult birth because I was so young that I needed time to recover. Did you want to give your baby away? <sighs> hey, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, you and I haven't been together long enough, and I shouldn't pry like this. No, no. I want you to know everything.
adoption papers. But I was drugged. No, they can't do that. I mean, you weren't thinking clearly. Had, had you ever talked with them before about giving the baby away? I wasn't sure. I, I asked for my baby right after I gave birth, but they told me it was too late. And I believed them. Of course. Your father was running for senator. They knew if the word got out that his young daughter was having a baby out of wedlock that it would destroy his career. How could I be so stupid? I gave my baby away. Other people are raising my baby. You can get her back. How? I've been apart from her for a year. She thinks those other people are her parents. It doesn't matter. Okay, it, it, it doesn't matter who has been taking care of her. She's your child. Your flesh and blood. Your DNA. <laughs> so late in Boston. Is something wrong? What's wrong, honey? I, I can hear you crying. Talk to me. Look, clearly you must have called because you want to talk. What's the matter? You're worrying me. What's the matter? I just... I want... <sighs> what do you want? I want to see my little girl. I want my daughter back. Sweetie, that's not possible. We agreed to let another family adopt her. Who's we? What do you mean, we? You, me, and your father. I was drugged. How could I possibly agree to that? It was you and him. You and him made me give her away. Sweetie, that's nonsense. It was the best decision. It was in your best interest. We we agreed. You were too young to be a mother. You had your whole life ahead of you. Vicky? You still there? <gasps> I want her back. Vicky, it's just not possible. To get her back. She belongs to another family now. She's not yours anymore. <gasps> She's not mine? How can she not be mine? She's my little girl. I have no memory of agreeing to let my daughter be given up for adoption. Well, you must have blocked the memory because we had a very involved conversation about it. And you agreed that it was the best decision. For you? For her? I don't remember. You made me sign the papers when I wasn't thinking clearly. You were perfectly lucid when you signed the papers. You are lying. In the recovery room that the adoption agency gave you. You are, you are absolutely lying. I would not lie to you. I signed the papers in the birthing room. Vicky, what's going on? Dad? Is that you? It's good to hear your voice. I haven't heard it in months. What, are you too busy to call your own daughter? Or are you too afraid to talk to me because you gave my baby away? What are you talking about? And, Dad, where's Johnny? Where's Johnny? Where's he? How'd you get him to sign the paper? Johnny doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about the baby. He signed over all rights. Really? Are you sure you didn't offer him some kind of plea bargain? Listen to me. Legally, that child is not yours. Now, I suggest that you get on with your life. You graduate from college. You'll meet somebody, and in a few years, you'll have a family of your own. Dad, the adoption was not legal. Why do you keep saying that? Because it's true.
What have we done? We did what was best for her. Come on, Vicky, pick up. Come on. So what happened? They lied to me. They blatantly lied to me about the whole thing. Of course they did. Your father's a U.S. senator. What do you expect? He's not gonna let anyone get in his way. Even his daughter? No, not even you. Look, your father is a very powerful man. I've been doing a lot of research about him, and it's clear that he'll run for governor after one term as senator. <sighs> Look, you need to get in contact with a lawyer now. Okay, I mean... My dad's best friend is a top family lawyer in San Francisco. He can help you with That'll this. That'll take forever. I don't have time for lawyers. My little girl gets older and older every day. And every day that goes by is another day that she's with those other people. So what then? I have an idea. Will you take me to the airport? Yeah, but where are you going? Home. Come on, I booked a flight. So you're still mad at me? I'm not mad at you, Mom. I'm just disappointed. I know you were just looking out for my best interest. No, I wasn't. You weren't? I'm so sorry, baby. I am so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. It's okay, Mom. No, it's not. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna fix everything. Okay? And then you and Dad are gonna be the best grandparents a child could ever ask for. Right? Oh, right. My name's Jennifer Myers. I'm here to interview for the internship. Oh, yes. We were expecting you. You can wait in the conference room, and someone will be out in a moment. Great, thanks. Jennifer? Excuse me, are you Jennifer? Hi. Hi. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm Jennifer. You're great, great. I'm Carolyn. Please, please, have a seat. Okay. Jennifer, you have such an impressive resume for such a young woman. Thank you. So what makes you want to work at an adoption agency? Well, adoption is just the most wonderful gift a family can give to a child. To accept a child into your home and then commit to taking care of them and loving them for the rest of your life is one of the most powerful and thankless things anyone can do. Wow. Very impressive. You know, that's exactly why I joined the adoption agency. I just can't wait till I get to match up a child with a new family. I mean, what a gift to give. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Jennifer, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing great. Everybody's been so nice, and I'm learning bunches. Good, good. Well, it looks to me like you're settling in really well. Thanks. Will and I are gonna go grab lunch. Can we get you something? Oh, no, that's okay. I actually brown bagged it today. All right. Well, you're gonna be holding down the fort, so why don't you let any calls that come in just go straight to the main voicemail, okay? Sure. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, we'll see you in just a bit. Okay, bye. Thanks. Will, you ready?
Honey, you in there? Uh, yeah. Hold on a minute. Okay, come in. I just want to say good night. Thanks, Mom. It's so good to have you home. <laughs> it's good to be home. I've missed everybody. Even Christian, that little brat. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Good night. Night. See you in the morning. Is Miss Martin there? Yes, this is Sarah. How can I help you? Hi, yes, this is Jennifer Myers. I work with Melissa at Elite Adoption Agency. Oh, hi. Uh, are you there? Hello? Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, just a bad connection. Um. Melissa wanted me to call you and set up a time to come by your house to do an annual review. You know, just standard bookkeeping the state requires. Oh, sure, I understand. Um, no problem. I, would next week sometime work? Actually, I was hoping we could do it tomorrow. I know that's last minute, but it's sort of the point of these reviews. Oh, sure. Uh, actually, I've got nothing going tomorrow. Perfect. Are you still on Sherridge Drive? Yes, we are. Great. 10 a.m.? Works for me, and my husband should be here, too. It's even better. Great. See you in the morning. Thank you.
Hi. You must be Jennifer from the agency. Hi, yes. You must be Miss Martin. I am, and this is my husband, Richard. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Yeah. And this is Julia. Hi, Julia. She is just the sweetest little angel. We could not be more in love with her, and she's doing so well. She's beautiful. Are you okay? Yes, I'm sorry. She's just so perfect. Are, are you sure? Yeah. Adoption. It's just so powerful to see children brought together with families who love them unconditionally. Is exactly why I got into adoption. Believe me, we really understand. Yeah, even though Julia isn't our birth child, uh, we kind of feel like it was fate that brought us together, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well... <laughs> You're a beautiful family. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. This has been going on all week. Excuse me, please. So, she's not quite walking yet. She's I'm scooting. Busy. And she loves to stand up, balance on the coffee table, and then scoot around. Do you want to say hello? And she says, Mama and Daddy and Ball. Sarah, the contractor needs our final decision on the tile, honey. Now? Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you need me? Yes, I do. I'm so I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, gosh. I hate to ask you, no, but would you please? Would you no. mind holding her just a second? Hi. Sorry, it is so dusty up there. Hi, baby. you know that? I'm gonna take you back to where you belong. I love you, Rachel. Okay. Sorry that took so long. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Did you say hello to Jennifer? Oh. Um... Well, um, can I give you a tour of the house? Do you need to... No, 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 that's okay. I'm sure the rest of your home is just as perfect as your family. Oh, thank you. I have good instincts, and I can tell that Rachel, um, Julia, <laughs> is in good hands. Well, I better get going. I have three more families to visit. Thank you for letting me into your home. Feel free to come back anytime, okay? I will, thank right. you. Right. Here, I'll, I'll show you the thing. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. I couldn't believe it. I mean, five seconds left only, and he gets it in. Why would he just do that? <laughs> it's crazy. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hang on. Hey, Vicky, what's up? See you later. I'll see you. Hey, are you alone? Uh. Yeah, yeah, I am now. Is everything okay? I met her. You what? How? I went to her house. How, how did you do Look, that? I'll explain later, but Lucas... She is so beautiful. I mean, I, I touched her. I held her hand. I looked into her eyes. Does she look like you? <laughs> yes. Yes, she looks just like me. It was incredible. And I actually think she knew it was me. And the adoptive couple is so sweet. I thought for sure they were going to be these dirty, creepy, scary people, but they're not. They are the nicest couple ever. Okay, that's, that's great, but now you really need to get in contact with my father's friend. Okay, I mean, he can help you get her back. But they're the nicest couple. Vicky. I don't know. Maybe. What? Maybe what? I don't know. Maybe she's better off with them. I mean, she'll have a mother and a father and a beautiful home and a perfect family. Don't say that, Vicky. Please. 
Lucas, if I take her away from them, I'm gonna ruin their lives. No, stop thinking about them! Think about yourself here! Think about Rachel! She's your daughter, not theirs. I don't know what to do. Look, you need to get in contact with my father's friend, okay? He'll get her back for you. I promise. Lucas says you specialize in family law. Is that right? That's correct. And do you handle adoption cases? Yes. Why? What are your issues? Are you all right? No, not really. Okay, I uh, just take your time. Look, um, why don't we start from the very beginning? I started two years ago. I got pregnant when I was 17, and obviously my parents weren't too happy about it. So your parents had you sign the release forms immediately after giving birth, and you had an epidural? Yes. Then we don't have much of a problem. Wait, you think I can get her back? No, it won't be that easy, but I believe you're certain that you can get her back. Now, thankfully, the courts do understand the need for expediency in these cases. Now, that should work in your favor. Okay, and what about my parents? Will they get in trouble? Well, they won't get in trouble criminally, but that won't stop the Martins from going after them civilly. Now, it's a chance, but you're going to have to take it. Now, Vicky. Don't forget, your parents are going to gain a granddaughter out of all this. Do you want to move forward? Vicky, You've gone too far this time. I've gone too far? Me. You have got to be kidding me. I didn't think you would go through with this. And why not? She's my daughter. Usually, mothers will do anything for their daughters. I can't. Why can't you? I just can't. Oh, God. Stop protecting him already. Haven't you had enough of being subservient to your husband for the last 20 years? Stop living for him and do what's right. Mom, I am your daughter. And Rachel is your granddaughter. And she's only been apart from us for a year. We have so many more years left with her. But if you don't do this for me, I may never get her back. Hello, girls. <sighs> What's going on? Do the right thing, Mom. <sighs> Barbara? <clears throat> Robert, uh, we never should have made Vicky sign those adoption papers when we did. You're talking about the adoption? I'm talking about our granddaughter. She is not our granddaughter. She was born out of wedlock and the father was a drug dealer. Please stop. Please stop putting a political spin on everything. It is not political, Barbara. I'm being practical she and realistic. <laughs> but out of that mistake came a beautiful baby girl. And we gave her away. And it's time for us to take responsibility for that. It's already too late. The child has been living with another family for over a year. It's not too late. Yes, it is. No, it's not. She's my baby, not theirs. I saw her yesterday. 
You saw her? How? It, it doesn't matter how. What matters is she knew. Mom, she knew that I was her mother. But how? She's only a year old. I don't know. I can't explain it, but she knew. And she knows I'm coming back for her. So you need to do what's right and help me get her back. Dad, you became a politician so that you could help people. You've changed, Daddy. I mean, what happened? Can't you see that I need you? Can't you see that this is an opportunity to right your wrongs, to help your daughter? And help get back your granddaughter? Dad, please see this from my perspective. From our family's perspective. Honey, your father could lose his office. Millions of people depend on him. You're right. I'm sorry. I've been selfish. I've been thinking about myself and about my reputation. I hope you can forgive me. Richard Martin? Yep. I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me? Yes? Contacted Len Shapiro. He is the best lawyer for this kind of thing. He's he's expensive, but I, I don't care. I'd, I'd rather be broke and have your injury. Okay? How did it come to this? I mean, how? After we waited for so long to get an independent closed adoption, they can't. No, I know. They're 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 saying that the baby was adopted without the consent of the birth mother. How is that possible? I am going to be brutally honest with the two of you. This is a, a very difficult case. The courts could easily view the adoption as being completely illegal. The grandmother admitted under oath in her deposition that the mother signed the papers immediately following the birth of her baby. So she was still under the influence of the birthing drugs. In my opinion, you could sue the grandparents, the adoption agency, the hospital. But that still won't give you Julia. Someone should go to jail. Unfortunately, this is a civil matter, so no actual crime has been committed. Well, there has to be something that we can do. To, to, Julia's been with us for a year. We're her parents. Unfortunately, according to the law, you're not. It is possible that you could be considered um, foster parents. Foster parents? Yes, as you're aware, foster parents are there to help care for the child until a permanent home can be found. But we are her permanent home. Well, we, we can go around in circles with this, but the, um, the state may give the biological mother all the rights in this matter. Uh, what if we left the country? No, 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 that would not be good. 
Virtually every country has extradition laws regarding children. You'd be sent straight back to the States, and you'd be in serious trouble. So what are you suggesting? That we would, we just give her back? Just hand her over like a leased car. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the court gives the biological parent the benefit of the doubt in these cases. So I want to suggest that we meet with a mediator rather than go to court. A mediator? There's nothing here to mediate. That little girl is ours. We're dealing with a very high-powered family. I think it's best to start this process in a more sensible environment. By meeting them in court, well, it, it could appear aggressive. Hello. Yes, this is Mrs. Worthington. Oh, OK. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Bye. The Martins want to meet tomorrow in Los Angeles for mediation. Please messenger this to the March firm. Yes, Mr. Wilson. Yes? Yes, Mr. Rain. Okay. Oh, there he is right oh, there. Thank you. You're welcome. That's the girl from the adoption agency. What's she doing here? That's the birth mother. No. No, she works at the adoption agency. She... She came to our house. She met Julia. She, she said she worked for the agency. It's good to see you again, Jennifer. Or... Is it Victoria? Mr. Klein, Victoria has already met Julia. She came over to our house. She told me that she worked for the adoption agency, and she illegally came into my home so that she'd see my child. And you would have done the exact same thing if she was your child. She is my child. No, she isn't. She was illegally taken from me two minutes after I gave birth to her. By your parents? Yes. By my parents, but what difference does it make? She's my baby. She has my DNA. She has my face. Ladies, please calm down. <sighs> Mr. Klein, may I say something, please? Senator, with all due respect, we haven't even started the process yet. I understand that, sir. But before we do begin, I would like the Martins to know that we do understand. My wife, Vicky, and I, how difficult and painful this is. Hey, no. Go. No. You don't. You have no idea. Mrs. Martin, with respect, we do. We're dealing with an incredibly unusual situation. One baby and two mothers. No, there is only one mother here. I am her mother. I'm sorry. I, I don't care how powerful you are. You're not taking my daughter. I will fight you with everything we have. Mr. Klein, she signed the papers. You, you gave her up. No, you did. I... The adoption was completely <sighs> and totally legal. <sighs> There's nothing to discuss here. I can't. I can't even believe we're here. This shouldn't even be happening. Okay, clearly this is a very emotional and heated situation. I think it's best if we take a 24-hour cooling off period and then bring the families in. It'll give us the opportunity to discuss this in a more professional manner. It won't be a problem. Not a problem, sir. All right, council stay. The rest of you will schedule something for in the morning. Okay, sir. should have gone to court. No, no, we, we just gotta trust Len and be patient. Patient? How can I be patient when they're trying to take my daughter away? You know, if you have another outburst like that tomorrow, the mediator could very easily decide against us, huh? What if we're doing the wrong thing? 
How can you say that? You saw the, the mother, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I saw her. I saw her the first day she illegally came into our house. To see her daughter. Clearly, she loves her. They're bonded by blood. Julia's going to grow up one day, and she's going to ask us about her birth mother. She doesn't have to know she's adopted. It doesn't work that way. You know it. Children know they pick up on everything. She'll know when she grows up, and she doesn't look like us. No, she won't know, and we don't have to tell her. And in, in, in any way, she looks like you. This is possible. I can't believe this is happening. Hey, listen. Julia belongs with us. And didn't you say that Dr. Billings said that an, an emotional bond is stronger than a genetic bond? Right? I just don't know anymore. Oh, honey. Everything's gonna be fine. complexities of this case, and I appreciate your allowing me to make a judgment on this case. As you know, my decision is not final until both parties agree that it is. Now, I've studied all the evidence in this case. I believe that this adoption is completely legal. <gasps> Ms. Worthington, in my opinion, it doesn't matter that you were under the influence of the birthing drugs when you signed the adoption papers. Now, Mr. Shapiro has given me ample information to prove that this adoption was in the works weeks before you gave birth. It doesn't matter. I'm her mommy, and I want my baby back. Please. Sarah. Please, you have to come to some conclusion as much as you don't like it and recognize that our biological mother is sitting right in front of you. You can't deny me my baby. You have to find it in your heart and admit that a terrible, terrible lapse of judgment was made. And I, I know how you feel. I know that this is a horrendous thing to have to go through. But the fact is, is that Rachel's my baby. And nothing can change that. Can't you see that while you had her for a year, I was denied that very same opportunity. I know we can't go back in time. I know that, but we can't go forward. And Rachel can be with her mommy for the rest of her life. Isn't that where she should be? But I'm her mommy. And you were a great mommy. I saw you with her. You love her like she's your own flesh and blood. But she is my baby. And I'm not saying that you can't see her again. I want you to be a part of her life. Okay, I am not a bad person, and I am not mean-spirited. But I have to fight for my child, just like you would want your mother to fight for you. Please. Please, I am begging you. Please see where I'm coming from. I mean, look at us. We're sitting in a room full of lawyers when we're discussing an innocent little girl. Please let her come home with me before too much time marches on. I don't want to sit in court for the next two or three years. It's only a disservice to Rachel. She's the one that's truly going to be hurt in all of this. What am I supposed to do to... 
hand her to you and say goodbye. Yes. Before it's too late. Before she's three or four and you have to hand her over when she knows what's going on. The best thing you can do for Rachel is to give her back to me now. Would you all uh, give us a moment, please? Experience this. Are you all right? I love Julia more than life itself. I do too. But she's. But she's what? But she's right. She is. Yes, Richard. Victoria is her mother. And I'm not. No matter what I do, I could never be her biological mother. Look at the way she's fighting for her. Look at how desperate she is. Well, so are we. But... It doesn't matter. If she had passed away, if if she was a drug addict, if she if she was unfit, if she just didn't care, of course we would keep her. But she's standing right in front of us, bleeding for her daughter. But I can't, in good conscience, keep a mother away from her biological child. No, honey, honey, listen to me. We can fight this. We can win. Really? Yeah. How can we win, Richard? How? How can we win if we keep a mother away from her child? She's the mother, and if she wants her child back, then she should be with her. It's that simple. And she's right. What if we fight? In two or three years down the line, we lose her. Well, it's, it's two or three more years we get to spend with her. Baby. You're only thinking of us. You're not thinking of Julia. That would destroy her. What are you doing? The right thing. Sarah, no, no, Sarah, Sarah, please, just, just take a little time and think no. about this. No. I made up my mind. No, Sarah. Victoria. <laughs> She's your baby. Maybe it was my job to take care of her for a little while. Now it's your job to take care of her for the rest of her life. Thank you. Thank you so much for understanding, Sarah. Thank you. You have to promise me. Keep in touch. I promise. I want you to be. <laughs> okay. Well, let's take it slow. Of course. What do you have in mind? Maybe you, you could come stay with us for a while. While you two get to know each other. I 
would like that very much. You're a good girl. So why Rachel? It's my grandma's name. I just love and miss her so much. I'm sure you do. I've been thinking, and I don't think it's right to change Julia's name. I mean, not only is it a beautiful name, but it's the name that she knows. And it's your grandmother's name. That's really important to me. That is so sweet. You don't have to. No, I do. <laughs> you deserve it. You have taken such good care of her. I can never thank you enough. You know, it's crazy. E even though this... It hasn't been easy. I couldn't ask for a better situation or a better person. You are amazing, sweetheart. Richard and I care about you so much. If you ever need anything, we're here for you. Well, thank you. So, are you and Richard gonna adopt again? Maybe not just yet. Um, my doctor, says that there is this experimental procedure that I might be the perfect candidate for, and it could mean that Richard and I could try again for one of our own. Wait, really? Don't get too excited. It's still in the trial phases, but... Well, you're gonna try it, right? Why not? Well, try it soon. Julia could really use a little sister. Oh. Didn't think of that. <laughs> thinking? Yeah. I don't know, honey. It's just... Every place we go reminds me of somewhere we went with Julia, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But they're good memories, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course they are, yeah. Does this place remind you of anything? Uh, yeah, when we picnicked up on the beach that time, remember? Yeah. It's beautiful. So... It's a happy place. Yeah, I'd say so. Why? Good. Because I'm about to make you even happier. Yeah, how's that? I'm pregnant. Honey, you are? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, have I told you I love you today? No. Well, I love you today. What beauty, what? 